Nothing tastes better like homemade smoked salmon when it's done correctly. Hi, my name is Sergi Babek. You're out hooked for a nice meal. I'm gonna show you today how to prepare smoked salmon using wet brine method. Before I get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll be using two different types of fish. We got two fillets of king salmon and this is the silver salmon. This is the fish that we cut last September. We freeze it all and three days ago I pulled it out and placed it in my refrigerator to thaw. Let's get started. Let's make that wet brine. Three cups of water. Half a cup of packed brown sugar. One third cup of sea salt. Two bay leaves and half a teaspoon of coriander seed. And some black pepper. Freshly grinded black pepper. About that much. I'm gonna peel some of the orange zest using the potato peeler. Uh, just don't go too deep. Next we got lemon. We're gonna do the same thing. That's a little too deep, a little bit less. So we're gonna get this to a boil, it's already start boiling. We're gonna boil it for a little bit to dissolve all of the sugar and salt. All of the sugar is dissolved now, so I'm gonna turn everything off. Then we're gonna add some ice to cool it down. After finish boiling, we let this cool down for about 15 minutes and now I'm gonna add four cup of ice to cool this down before I pour this over our fillets. As you can see, I left the skin on and the reason for that, when I'm gonna place this fish in my smoker skin down, it's gonna keep the juices in and it's gonna be juicy and more flavorful. Our brine has been sitting for 10 minutes. Rub this with plastic and place it in the fridge overnight. See you guys tomorrow. Afternoon everyone, so I just pulled our fish from the refrigerator. Our fish finished marinating. Now I'm gonna rinse the fish off with the cold water. I want my water to run through to get the cold water possible. I'm just gonna give a quick rinse. We got about four pounds of filet here. Lay out our fish on the paper towel. I'm gonna pet dry it. I'm gonna try to remove this moisture as much as I can. I can apply a little bit of olive oil so our fish does not stick to our screen. Place our fish on the screen. We're gonna let our salmon sit on top of the counter for two hours to get air dried and it's gonna start developing sticky film called pellicle so the smoke can stick to our fish to add that flavorful smoky taste. Our salmon ready to be smoked. I'm gonna place it in Memphis Elite pellet grill and smoke it anywhere from two to two and a half hours on 180 degrees and I'm gonna check on it in one hour. All right. It's all preheated on 180 degrees. Okay, this is good enough right there. Our salmon been in a smoker for one hour now. Now it's time to make a glaze. Half a stick of unsalted butter. half a cup of brown sugar, three ounce freshly squeezed oranges, two ounce freshly squeezed lemon juice, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. 
We're gonna get this into a boil, then we're gonna stir it till all of that sugar is melted and dissolved. Look at this beautiful salmon. So we got two probes, one portable probe uh, right here that shows 106 degrees and second probe on that piece of salmon that shows also 106 degrees. Now I'm gonna put the glaze on and we're gonna continue on glazing every half an hour till this salmon is completely smoked. Uh, internal temperature is supposed to be 140 degrees. All right, so we're gonna glaze it again. One more coat of glaze. Our salmon been smoking for two hours. Now I'm gonna bump up the temperature to 200 degrees so we can achieve that brownish smoky look. All right, I'm gonna glaze one more time. When you look at this white spot start showing up, that's albumin, it's totally fine. As long as our whole fish not covered with it, then it's meaning our fish is overcooked. We are finished smoking our salmon. I'm gonna let it rest from 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna give that final glaze coat. Then we're gonna try it. After 15 minutes rest, I'm gonna give final glaze coat. This is our final product. Look at this beautiful salmon. Now it's time to taste this fish. I'm gonna start with king salmon. Oh man, look how flaky. Mm. It's so good, king salmon, it's so juicy flaky, smoky, very flavorful. Now I'm gonna try silver salmon and see if it, there is a difference. All right, I see silver salmon a little bit more firmer. Mm. It's really, really good. Silver salmon, a little bit more firmer, but taste-wise, still same thing. Very flavorful, smoky taste. King salmon, a little bit softer and a little bit more juicier. Overall, I really like this recipe. You can eat it warm, you can eat it cold, you can make dip out of it. For now, this is it. This video is coming to an end. I wanna thank you for watching our YouTube channel, Hooked for Nice Meal. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave the comments below. See you guys at the next video.